is in the government's strategy to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. You will now be required to provide proof of COVID-19 vaccination if you're planning to access any public space or services. This follows the invocation of the Public Health Act by the Ministry of Health as a means to prevent a further spread of the COVID-19 disease that is now fueled by the Omicron variant. And as Raquel Mugai reports, those who are yet to get a COVID-19 jab are in for a rude shock if the directives are implemented to the letter. It may be a not-so-merry Christmas and a happy new year for a majority of those yet to be vaccinated, if at all the directive by the Ministry of Health is to be fully implemented. Right now, the Ministry of Health, in putting down these directives through the NERCC, is invoking the Public Health Act. We have emphasized that, yes, vaccination is not mandatory, but for you to be able to interact with other Kenyans, for you to be able to get the privilege of interacting and using some of these facilities, then you have to do so while protecting your fellow member, community member, by ensuring you're vaccinated. And that is the stand of the Ministry of Health. The recent announcement comes from what has now become the reality of Omicron in Kenya, as seen in COVID-19 numbers from the last 24 hours. A positivity rate of 29.7%, the highest ever this year. This, a representation of 3,328 new infections registered in the last 24 hours from a sample size of 11,197. From the ministry's data, 76% of samples sequenced on the 7th of December were positive for the Omicron variant. Only 18% were positive for Delta variant. Ten days later, on the 17th December, all samples sequenced turned out to be Omicron variant. We hope that we are not going to tip over 30% and maintain it at that. And that will mean that we have a saturation of the infection and it can only come downwards. But for us to be able to achieve that, we need to work to ensure that uh, we continue to comply with the non-pharmaceutical interventions and also up our game in terms of the vaccination. As the ministry puts it, whether you like it or not, these directives will have to be adhered to. If you plan to attend organized events like weddings, funerals, sports or nightclub, banking halls, shopping malls, hotels, including transport services and all government offices, you will be required to present proof of vaccination. Additionally, all workers or service providers must also possess COVID-19 certificates. Children below age of 15 years have been exempted from this requirement. However, if a person will be leading or supervising a program with children or youth or required to present to the child at such a program, you must be fully vaccinated. In the event of non-compliance, action shall be taken, which may include the following. Withdrawal of license of the institution and of court proceedings. Each establishment or facility shall be required to nominate or designate a person responsible for verifying vaccination certificates at all facility access points. This comes just one week after the High Court prohibited the state from enforcing the directive. The court ruled the directive as unconstitutional. If you want to have a safe Christmas and New Year, get vaccinated before you go where you are going because you may get stuck. You may not be able to board a vehicle back or you may not be able to enter the hotel you are going to because those measures will be implemented. Raquel Mugai, Citizen.